everybody, Ted Poli here to premiere my brand new album for you called Beyond the Fate on Frontiers Music. Um, if you're watching this, I'm assuming that you're at home in front of a computer monitor having a great time, so sit back, relax, and I'll preview some cool stuff for you. We'll meet Alessandro Del Vecchio, my awesome producer, and we'll sort of walk you through this thing. Um, hey, here we go. First single, the first video, um, great song written by the Martin Brothers of Vega fame. A um, little bit of me in there and arranged by the great Alessandro Del Vecchio. We did a kick-ass video for it um, near Bergamo, Italy. Um, featured the audience, which I love to do. Um, everybody's a friend when you come to a Ted Poli show. And uh, we just had a lot of fun. Videos, high energy, band looks great. I thought this footage that I've seen so far is awesome. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as well. Where did you go? I hope you know that I can't hide. Did you find... And we're back. Awesome. The album title. Have to call it an album because you don't know what it's going to be called in the future. CDs? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows what they're going to invent. But anyway. The album title is called Beyond the Fade, which I came up with for basically two reasons. One of the meanings is, when I was a little kid, I used to love when the guitar player just got get, get crazy at the end of a song, and I'd have to just listen at the fade and crank up my stereo to get the very last bits of the best of when a guitar player goes crazy. So I sort of left the endings a little bit longer on some songs so that you really could get a feel of some of the best stuff that comes after a normal fade. So that's one of the re reasons I call it that. The other reason, beyond the fade, I'd like to think that I'm at the peak of ripeness. However, I think that the, maybe the glory days of our music had peaked, oh, I don't know, let's just say a few years ago. However, um, we're still out here and we're still making music and we're still doing some of our best work. and. Um, I feel that that was the fade, but we live on beyond the fade. So that was my concept, and uh, hopefully you'll love the album. I think it's really cool. We worked hard. Alessandro Del Vecchio, I'll introduce you to him in a moment. We worked side by side. He's the main producer. I was his co-producer. We rearranged all of these songs. The songs were written by the Vega guys, the Martin brothers um, <laughs> of internet fame and many bars and smoke-filled evenings, but a lot of their lyrics are wonderful and their songs are great. I'm a big fan. I've got a cool Joel Lynn Turner song on this record, something I've wanted to sing for many years, and um, I'm thrilled with it. I hope you'll be thrilled with it too, and thanks for checking in with me. Let's go, let's start something. Ted Poli here with my good friend and producer Alessandro Del Vecchio here in Italy. Hi everybody. So let's talk how everything started in, uh, a few months ago. <laughs> a few months ago. The saving some of these songs, well one of them for 25 years almost. But um, yeah, the songs, I go to my A-list songwriters, the Martin Brothers uh, of England and of Vega um, and use some of what I've loved and saved of their work. I always have a few Martin Brothers songs on every one of my solo CDs, and it's never a solo CD. It's very much a group effort, starting with the songwriting, which I think we started out with over 60 songs, possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I drove him crazy, sending him a lot of things <laughs> to sort through. And some of the songs were like, you know, we patched part of the songs together. We and, did. Uh, we would like parts of elements of one song and we would rearrange things and sort of make Frankenstein songs. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do it together. <laughs> but yeah, once we sort of narrowed it down to what we were doing, we started on the music, which took about four months, I think, uh, via Skype. We worked every day. We would wake up and I'd see we were sharing a beautiful it. face on Skype and <laughs> I would be working with cats walking across my screen in front of me and uh, and it was a lot of fun and we would refine and refine and until we got the music where we wanted. Yeah, we went back and forth yeah, for a man. few weeks on, uh, uh, especially we drove 
Oh, Mario, and then uh, kind of crazy. <laughs> How can you redo that little part? I, but, yeah, yeah, always. But, it was always, it, he was so good, and I'd get these tracks that were so amazing that I would take it further and sort of push everybody. And I'm very happy for that. Yeah. Um, I'm very happy with the album, it's great. Baby, my record was to capture the Ted Poly happy feeling of music but take it to a you know to a, a kind of a different place uh, to your previous records but still make it a classic poly record so I, I kind of pushed you to, to, well, if to you be like what you I do, are, oh, if you yeah. like what I do you're gonna love this one so he really he did a great job man. <laughs> Producer makes a you know bigger stamp than what it should be. You know, and, it's true. Uh, but you know what? Working with you, I mean, basically, I guess we're sort of getting ahead of ourselves. The songs were picked, the music was done. So then I felt safe booking my flight, coming out. I felt the best thing to do was to you know get up close and personal yeah. and work together in the same studio, which is really the only way to do it. So a lot of guys sometimes I can send tracks. These days you can do a lot of things over the internet but it's not, the same. it's not the same it's not thing. Same. So I decided, okay, let's spend the money, we'll come out to Italy and we'll do it the right way. Very happy that I did it that way. And uh Yeah, yeah, because we, we captured I think we captured uh, the soul of the songs but we took it to a you know we took it to a different place and uh, uh, most of the songs to a to a special place. And uh, yeah. we because we got ballads that got deeper and we got rockers that got we're rocking, so... And we've got the big vocals, I think we've yeah. got the 60 <laughs> like, or 70 <laughs> tracks of vocals on one song. But like 80, 80 tracks, 80 just tracks, backing yeah. vocals. But you know, sometimes you just have yeah, to do that. Yeah, know. that's our genre. And, uh, but really, I'll tell you, being in Italy to record has, been, has added an element. It's been wonderful working here. And I tell you, Ali made this, the process so easy that, you know, usually my greatest fear is what's going to happen in the studio and how is it going to be when the red light goes on and you made it so pleasant that we really did the work in a record-breaking amount of time and yeah, five days <laughs> yeah and I was really <laughs> I swear. you know and my main concern was really once I got here and started tasting all of the wonderful food of Italy I must admit that um, I think if anybody asked Ali what it was like to record with Ted Poli what would you say man yeah, I would say we spend more time at the grocery store than in the studio. That's right. <laughs> right, that's right. He knows me. That's right. So we did it all for you, and uh, now I'll be dieting. Uh, yeah, I'm know, sure. When I get home to the U.S. But, but I'm sure you're gonna like it because it's uh, it's uh, it's a classic poly record with you know a big production. So um, yeah, it's very classic, but very cool and very kick-ass. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed what you've heard and what you've seen today. Um, Frontiers Music, look for my new CD, Ted Poli, Beyond the Fade. Um, should be somewhere near you by the time you're watching this. So, see you live and you'll see me in stores soon. Hi.